Now, if there's one thing that is more transcendent about freaking American culture and Halloween as a whole, it's freaking stuffing yourself with calories upon calories upon calories of Halloween candy. And so today, I'm gonna take a bunch of uh, Halloween candy and put them on a tier list and talk about which ones reign supreme. If you like this type of stuff and you like reviews and you like all this type of stuff, I'm doing a video about Halloween once every single day. So if you like that type of stuff, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Would mean a ton to me. But let's just jump right into it. I put a bunch of stuff in uh, Don't Eat Enough just because like this this list had a bunch of, honestly, freaking, I, I, why why would I have an opinion on freaking mounds? And then like what's that one? What what's the one right next to mounds? Or is that is that meth? Is that pills? Is that cocaine? But I guess we'll start with uh, warheads. I like warheads. Fine enough. Uh, I don't eat them often, but when I do, it's very funny uh, because it's just it's just very funny. Give a warhead to a small child and not tell them what it is. Builds character. I'm just gonna rank normal Reese's. Reese's A tier, A tier freaking candy. And if you if you think otherwise, you're a freaking fool. You're an absolute freaking fool. Peanut butter chocolate, great when separate when they combine morning time epic. Come on guys, you have the meme potential of it, but then you also just got freaking. It, it's a bomb freaking candy. Underrated. I'll say it. I'll say Reese's is actually underrated, which might be a hot take. People might actually be like, oh, it's, oh, it's way too overhyped. I, 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 shut up. Hubba bubba bubble rope. So I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to put this B tier simply because of that one freaking image of the guy freaking taking a bite out of the bubble rope. Every single, every single time I see that image, it creates like a visceral response that I just cannot freaking contend with. A forbidden evil freaking awakens inside of me whenever I see that image and I just want to kill it I want to kill it with fire uh, and so it's going to go in B tier because uh, clearly I have some unresolved issues with it bazooka bubblegum uh, from the 50s probably racist D tier don't even have to talk about it first S the first S ladies and gentlemen S tier candy actual goaded candy you're gonna sit here and tell me that I'm wrong you're gonna sit here and tell me that Sour Patch Kids are mid? You're mid. I hate you, Tootsie Pops. Ah, freaking C tier, bro. The only thing memorable about it is the commercial, bro. Like, who has genuinely sat down and, like, enjoyed the experience of freaking chomping at a Tootsie Roll Pop? Sweet, tar sweet tarts, okay, sweet tarts are mid. Sweet tart ropes are goaded. Sweet tarts, just in general, mid. Awful. I'm putting Smarties in that category too. Uh, for, I, I put them in the same category in my mind because they're both awful. They're both ass, bro. They're, don't even try and like tell me that you, don't t try and tell me that you sit down and you enjoy these when I know that the only reason that you enjoyed them is because you probably snorted them when you were in second grade trying to like freaking pretend like you're some big adult freaking cool guy. These are awful. These are mid. I hate them. They can die. What are these? What 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 are these? Those look like freaking Olive Garden mints. S tier. Ring pops. If you like ring pops, I'm sorry, you're into some weird crap. I I don't make the rules. You you like input. You freaking you you're probably taking your you're going to therapy and you're learning some interesting stuff about yourself and you know what that's completely fine you live your life uh you have a good time you do what you want to do i'm not gonna sit here and judge you but i will say that you like drink pops come on three musketeers i'm gonna get into some freaking i'm gonna get into some i'm gonna get into some arguments with people because i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say what nobody else has the balls to say. Three Musketeers is an S tier candy. It is an S tier candy. You cannot tell me. Freaking nougat? Are you kidding me? And you were, oh. It is the Halloween candy that is most prevalent in the bags. So you always had Three Musketeers the most when you went trick or treating. At least I did. And so I would freaking gobble that crap up. S tier. It's fantastic. Here's the other thing that's gonna give me crap. Twizzlers, licorice is a D tier candy. 
It is a D tier food. Not not black licorice. I don't freaking care about any freaking type of licorice. Licorice itself, awful. Horrific. I do not have a good time eating Twizzlers. I do not have a good time eating freaking licorice in general. They're mid. They're all, not even mid. They're ass. Stop trying to convince yourself that you think that Twil Twizzlers are a good freaking candy. Because they're not. They're not. You need help. Get help. Jolly Ranchers, also D tier. And when I'm eating candy, I don't want to like be thinking about the candy like 30 minutes after I put it in my mouth. With Jolly Ranchers, you ha you gotta be sucking on that thing. You gotta be you gotta be giving it the 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 gulp. You gotta be gulping on that on that joint, and you'll be doing it for like 30 minutes unless I freaking bite into it. And then if I bite into it, it freaking kills my teeth, and I don't freaking want that. No, I don't. Tootsie Rolls again, awful, bad candy. This one is not controversial though. I feel like if you, if you are a red blooded American, you understand that. Tootsie Rolls are not it. They're not it, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. S tier. Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks are S tier, baby. Actually, you know what? I'll put it at, I'll put it at A tier because you don't really remember the taste. You only do it for the texture. Actually, the text only the texture. I'm going to bring it down to B. I'm going to bring it down to B. That's a reasonable idea. I jumped the gun. I thought it was S tier. I will apologize for that. I will think before I speak next time. Kit Kat, come on. Come on. That one's easy. That one's like freaking a cakewalk. Freaking break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Are you kidding me? This is an American classic. We all know that it's an American classic. I don't even need to elaborate. S tier. S. S. Same goes with Twix. I don't like their I don't like their marketing. Their marketing's dumb. I don't like the left Twix right Twix thing, but come on. Like Twix. I will freaking happily shove an entire Twix. Pez? Pez? I don't know. What awful spirit demon? Sage dark wizard? evil capitalist mastermind business tycoon invented Pez and the Pez dispenser. But I hope, I hope that when they die or if they died, the only thing that they are remembered for is the many crimes that they committed to this earth. Pez is not candy. It is not food. It is chalk that you put in a dispenser and convince yourself that it is good to eat and is satisfying for you. Because you don't, you don't have any other options. It's Pez, come on. Oh, it's got a cute little fictional character at the top of the dispenser. Oh, wait, 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 shut up. Pez is awful, you're awful. Whatever freaking abomination of a company made Pez is awful. We're done. We're done. You would agree? You disagree? I don't care. We're done. This is the end of the year, guys. Thanks for watching.